game that's been on my ca uh, game catalog for some time that I've never played. Or don't even think I've seen anybody playing it. So, yeah, let's see how this game goes. Um, music normally that's the fir first thing I remove is music ok custom story start a new game mm -hmm. as you can see now continue I've never played this game before so let's start a new game I'm going to play normal difficulty I don't know what is there so Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is I am Daniel. Journal. Press time for quick access of the momentos. Check. Press M. Press F for the journal. Press M for the momentos. Make sure to check these on every section. Right. Not much. 
available. Okay. Diaries. No diaries are available. There's a lot of writing for nothing. Winters. Follow the liquid trail to find the source. So, it was just shortcut to the momentos. Okay. Uh, come check this recent text by pressing in uh, or by system channel. Crouch. Somehow he doesn't like those. So now we've got a broom. But yeah, we can just pick up. just happened. I was just exploring a um, creepy old cache or what? Not in the box. like this guy needs medical attention. Put 
this answer in vain will reduce your sanity and can increase the com uh, difficulty of making your progress. Okay, so seeing doors fly open is a bad idea. to grab hold of it. What the hell? I need to grab hold of it and then swipe it. Which itself seems like it's a What's on it? So I need to swipe it. Ah, yes, like that was not easy. So I must not be in a dog or lose sanity. Ah, that's a lovely dog place. Um, Spices jump. Actions. So yeah, let us see. So I can grab that and throw it about. of August 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. 
God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. So he wrote letters to himself. Your books it's for what reason? Thank you. 
basically out of land and fuel also. Nothing available there. Daniel's not yourself. Carpet on a broom. Why can't we open up this? Oh, it doesn't fit. Fireproof. It feels like you need to be able to do something with this. The fact that we're now stuck in this part of the world, we have to ask why. for bottles. But again, I need to sit. to avoid the sense of guilt. Okay. Not left shift. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Okay. We'll be on to the refinery, we can have to 
on a family. So we can't go that way. And that's supposed to be a spider web, apparently. Okay. What's down here? Should be more coop right. Let me see, let me see. And one part aqua force. stuff down there. Thank you. 
variable thing in you as long as I'm able to think here and now for life together and I am better than the others I weep for them they will last power without restraint where I have fair judgments and safe return chemistry again uh, input key config uh, lantern was if so I need to r refill the lantern or something uh, inventory is tap Up. 
much because we pulled it out. Sixteenth of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Little statue. Books again. Let me look for the other also. For my full attention to the service of Alexandra, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexandra Baron is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. William House of Garrick. Okay. Looks like we get a lot of tender if we use it sparingly enough. Thank you. 
17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Apparently not indefinitely. So otherwise we will write the note. And this picture is removed. And we can't light the fireplace. I feel nearly that, that I'm too sparingly with the stuff, with the oil and the tinder. But I'm also fearful that if I'm not, I might run out of it. Okay, this is a throw thing. General flashing. Yeah, now we have all this. Yeah, whatever. So that's historical locks is locked.
Okay. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. but not breakable by hand. Interesting. What else can I pick up? Oh, 
clearly. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. I think another region rich and low enough deep in the east of Persian woods. For well, centuries there have been stories around the hamlet and its neighboring castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest clad mountain stress with scattered lakes is pictured and can be an overtaken area of haunting and the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of widespread superstition. All travelers should Dodge ourselves in such uh, conversations since it will certainly s uh, serve as sighting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. Gather as the stories reach all the way back to the time of the 30 year war. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark wood and were forever damned to roam the ground. Their bodies rot by the untainted souls that have left uh, disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any builder. Are called gatherers. They seem to follow some impatient to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside them. Burlap sacks tra uh, tracked behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Visit undone. Hendrik Cornelius Apret. Prefer that I put your luck no tomorrow. The well known erudite visited Constant at the start of the 16th century. There was a lot of butchering. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for a uh, remnant of a kingdom past. During his time, all the prominent members of society paid. That this and he is mentioned in many records of the town. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the north western glades, only to, uh, to never be seen again. Hendrik is known to have passed away in Granoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Astant, which makes I wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods? And what happened to him? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennan lives to a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby. Old stats and like most has noble burn. Rumors are inherited alongside the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman 
for the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and to remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of and his offspring was, has never been re uh, fully recorded. This had fe fit the idea that the Baron is in fact the one same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of the country. Okay, so it's just laws and stuff. Right again. And there's crappy marks. Move this one out of the way. Bigger box. All the books are powerful. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Yeah, 
set before I can't make my notifications. Didn't I leave this open? is in this area it's effectively what's being said so I must be missing something Somehow I need to move this thing. This door is clogged. Can't go for a day. One of these has been unlocked. It's been opened. specifically on it. see what's happening. I'm getting the drawers that's currently closed. Oh well, that's at the bottom.
guy. So I, I need a key or a way to move that uh, bookshelf. And I don't see either. William and his fools have indulged my research long enough and their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my uh, trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow travel to Wittenberg. I need to lock William and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. I think King's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be a sense of birth of the problems. More problems. Right, we've got the one cellar keys. And uh, how do we get out? I don't need to light those up. That's why I have the books, so of one book that I can throw. That's strong enough to break weak walls. And there's doors open. Back to the wine cellar. Why is this door closed? It won't budge. Okay, so we have to go through this side. Hello.
think if we to start putting as you said from this back. Okay. Okay, to the wine cellar. to unlock. So there's the key. Decorates wine cellar. Sweet. Okay, fine. the key. General mementos, open, text, toggles crosshairs, actions, intact, rotate, Lantern. Okay. Still doesn't know how to use it. Find the key, I found the key. So there's the key, one cellar key. Double click on no key. Okay, fine. just close by itself. All sorts of tools. Where am I missing armor? And I can move barrels around. 
That entrance is now blocked. Okay. That didn't do really much.
way. Class. But I'm out of tenders. Slightest room and do so without asking question. In return, he would uh, test my character to the royal court, advising my position within the noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted it all suddenly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to bread. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom have ever seen or heard from again. The night apart invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but they insisted and joined us in the thirst. The wine tasted fine and the man drank without restraint. So begins the punishment of our sins. Baron has locked us up and turned upstairs. Forgive me for what I've done. I was weak and fell into the diabolic ways. I was screaming. The skin has been pierced by the untangled bones. I tr uh, feel my inside revolt against the human nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer. Okay. Can I put stuff? From there. I'm not sure I had a lot of tenders to walk. Well, I've got a lot of land, dude. I've 
out at a lot more tender also. So I think we're done in this area and regardless. We need to go to the laboratory again. To brew up whatever we needed. But let's continue searching. Apparently that is locked or gone closed. If enemy enemy is near, stay out of sight, eyes and down. Make sure to turn off your lantern if possible. So now I've got enemies also to deal with. It seems like. Lantern on or hiding from that enemy. Stop with this visual effect is making me seasick. I don't normally get seasick. Thanks. And that should be tender. So we've got tender again. So now I can clip decently around. I doubt we've got a lot of oil left. And I don't think there's anything else here. And through there, there, and there. So let's go to the laboratory. Nothing there's anything here. We sat down by the cash bar wall, gasping for air, sweat pouring from his fork. Uh, During three days in and out, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him to across the emergency to go. Having reached the British territory, it was just a matter of SS whatever. So, down again in the laboratory. Sanity crystal clear. If we got some bruises, yeah. I thought my sanity was gone. But apparently, it's crystal clear. Or is it? <laughs> uh, 
Lantern uh, oil, mana oil dah sendiri tan. Kita buat more in. Emas report. Feeling is for our lovely barrel. My name is William of Chris. This is my farm work for two years. Yeah, I know about this. Question is now where to wait now. Uh, apparently not up there.
that's just a front thing. Another front thing. So as it doesn't go there. this something that's obs obscure again that I'm not seeing. Yeah, I doubt I could go up there. I've got two charges of flint, so I don't want, really want to use my charges. I'm busy burning through well also. Why is this crazy small time in this corner? No indication of anything in this corner. Objects reach hard to get places. Yeah, that I've figured it out. Unless you're telling me I have to use these objects. Yeah. Which is just basically telling me. It became impossible to avoid the commotion of the street law begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French shoulders opened fire and jumped something like that. scrambled on top. Too many of them he thought perhaps to feel. And that one actually got the uh, everything. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? 
Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. More than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it, lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? This it's like something is clocking the crank the contraption. Um, which is going to get us left by hand. So 
Apparently I've got a bit of sanity to spare. Uh, turn the box. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Yeah, so glass is actually uh, liquid. It's actually liquid. If you look at oh, very old buildings, you'll find that the glass panes at the bottom is thicker than at the top. So of course the glass settled down. <laughs> but yeah, it does not change that quickly. And something is terrifying him again. And this is on the way out again. This type of visual effect actually hurts my eyes. So and I can feel my eyes already starting to burn. Add to that, I soon have to disconnect because I need to do some work. I wonder. I can't turn this. I wonder if I can do. I don't click on it, does that. Sanity questionable. Few cuts and bruises. Chemistry report. Medical prices to improve health and deal wounds. Uh, I've got one. Left. So, question is, how do I get that thing unstuck? Uh, stuck. There's your answer. surface the dark
So that was a flashback of what it was. What the? Keep out of the water. Yeah, thanks for warning me in time. <laughs> if I knew I needed to keep out of the water, I would have. That's not a parkour thing. What is that now? going to be fun. Oh, wait, did it just leave?
kesininya selaterak
hell just happened there? That destruction does not work for me. Last one. Apparently it keeps him out for a little while. It's locked with a simple lock. And whatever that means. Unlocks doors, apparently. Something large brushed against your leg and you felt being dragged along with the current body breeze to boost himself up to the surface. Oh, right. Okay, I'm gonna finish now with the parkour map. That was getting old very quickly.
overrunning my time. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean and the SSL glittered around this moving head. Warm yellow light setting sun. Okay. So we're on the other side of the fa factory, so this should be the end. I hope. Sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Okay, so... Apparently a vertical elevator is locked. Okay. Okay, uh something tells me this is not going to work. It's not working for some reason. And we've got a new one. See, now we've already read that one also. Not looking because the doors are open. I doubt that. I think it's. Yeah, I thought as much. It's not because of the doors. It's. I need to get in there to fix that. And what lies behind that is probably another puzzle and stuff. Um. But to get in there, I need to figure out how to open that door, which is probably going to be through here, or something to do with up here. stop. Let's close. Close. The question is still how much is more left? I could be it could be that we're halfway, we could be a quarter of the way, we could be completely 
completely done. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. So, yeah. I'll just clear this room. Uh, after I've done this areas, this guest room, I'm going to have to end the stream and start with work. 3rd of July. 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Yeah. stuck or broken. Uh, let me guess, I need to pick up something to throw it at the door. That doesn't work. Maybe it's not a book. Looks like it's gone. 
so. No. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. So yeah, it reassembled it, well, compared, uh, fixed itself. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Thank you for following uh, Fork the idea uh, team. Uh, okay. Got the machine room. Unfortunately, I um, was just finishing this room. Um, funny. Uh, finishing this room as I need to continue of work. Flip through the book of right, looking for etching and count nine different kings from all over. That's well, looked a little bit worse for wear since I left. But yeah, like I said, unfortunately, work calls actually has been calling 20 minutes ago. So I need to finish the stream and uh, continue with work so yeah thanks for uh, watching and thanks for the follow so I'll have to end it now for, uh, for now uh, till next time <laughs>